Today, we are going to talk about isosceles trapezoid. Isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid whose legs are congruent. As we all know from our previous videos, legs here is MH and AT. Meaning, these legs congruent daw sila. When we say congruent, they have the same measurement. Okay, so if the legs have the same measurement, meaning the trapezoid is an isosceles. And we are going to discuss the three properties of isosceles trapezoid. The first one is base angles of isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So let us have the base angles. So, base angles here, based from the figure, we have angle M congruent to angle A. While angle H is congruent to angle T. Meaning, they have the same measurement. Let us have an example. If angle M is equal to 50 degrees. Therefore, angle A is also 50 degrees. And if angle H is 130 degrees, therefore, angle T is also 130 degrees. Number two, opposite angles of an isosceles trapezoid are supplementary. So, opposite angles, we have angle H, opposite niya is angle A, and supplementary meaning if we add the two angles, it must be equal to 180 degrees. The same goes with angle M and angle T. Angle M plus angle T is equal to 180 degrees. And then number three, diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So let us have an example. If we draw a diagonal here and another diagonal for MT, meaning Diagonal AH is congruent to diagonal MT. So they have the same measurement. Okay, so let us try to apply these three properties. Number one, if angle M is 115 degrees, what is the measure of angle A? So since angle M and angle A are base angles since sila ay base angles meaning they are congruent so angle m is congruent to angle a therefore if angle m is 150 degrees angle a is also 115 degrees let us have another example number two if angle h equals 45 degrees what is the measure of angle a so, we all know that angle H and angle A are opposite angles. So, therefore, we are going to use property number 2, which is opposite angles are supplementary. So, angle H plus angle A is equal to 180 degrees. And then, let us substitute the given value. So, angle H is 45 plus angle A equals 180 degrees. And then, we need to transpose 45 to the right side of the equation. So, positive 45, it will become negative 45. So, angle A is equal to 180 degrees minus 45. So, let us subtract 180 minus 45.
we are able to get 135 degrees. So the value of angle A is 135 degrees. Last example number 3. If AH equals 4Y minus 3 and MT equals 2Y plus 5, then AH is, MT is, okay. So for us to get the value of MT and AH, since we are talking about the diagonals, we are going to use the property number 3, which is diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So we have MT congruent to AH. So let us substitute the given value. So MT is equal to 2Y plus 5. Congruent means equal. And then substitute the value of AH, which is 4Y minus 3. And then let us combine like terms. So let us transpose 2Y here. So we're going to have 4Y. Since this is positive 2Y, it will become negative 2Y. And then transpose negative 3 so we're going to have 5 plus 3 and then 4y minus 2y that is 2y 5 plus 3 is 8 divide both sides by 2 cancel it out so y is equal to 8 divided by 2 that is 4 so our value of y is 4 so for us to solve a each we have 4y minus 3. So, palitan lang natin yung y ng 4. And then solve. So, 4 times 4, that is 16. Minus 3. So, a each is 13. And then, same process with empty. We have 2y plus 5. So, yung y, palitan natin ng 4. And then 2 times 4, we have 8 plus 5. So the value of empty is also 13 because they are congruent. That's all. Thank you.